I play three creature cards and then use polymerization to combine them and special summon Psalm 100. Okay, okay, but seriously, if the actual anime follows in the footstep of the trailer, I think this will be entering my top 10 anime of all time. But before diving into the trailer, which is a masterpiece in itself, what is Psalm 100 bucket list of the dead about? And I guess the trailer kinda answers that, but to grasp its true potential, you would have had to read the manga. The key is in the name, the bucket list. Now, a somewhat common misconception when talking about suicidal people is that if they are suicidal, why not just do whatever the fuck you want and either be happy or die? But it's not that simple and I wouldn't make a rant about that, however if one were to cure the reason behind their depression as the world ended, or to be more precise, it was cured by the same thing that ended the world, how would one feel? Well that is Akira Tendo, he's finally free, and now that he is free he finally has time to do all the things he wanted to do after quitting the company. When he realizes he might be on a timer, he decides to write it all down in a notebook called 100 things I want to do before becoming a zombie. I told you the clue is in the name, and while we are reminded about the awful nature of the reason behind this freedom from time to time, with the most impactful thing in my opinion being without getting too heavy into spoilers, the death of the downstairs neighbors. We are also faced with an incredible optimism which feels, well, not realistic per se, but enough so that we can suspend our disbelief. Speaking of disbelief, I didn't think this show's trailer would be a masterpiece, and if the trailer is a masterpiece, well it does give a good sign for the rest of the anime. And when working with any type of content you want to tell a story, and for a trailer telling a story that leaves you wanting more is unique. And that's not me trying to say that other trailers don't try, it's just that it gets lost in all the hype building and mumbo jumbo. Not a crew. But within the first seconds of Psalm 100 his hatred for work is clear. It's then followed amazingly by music kicking in as zombies take a bite of someone. We then get to see some name drops to zombies being made, which is a unique style making the anime stick out more. And with the music ramping up we are left wondering what's coming next. We prepare ourselves for action, which is exactly what we get. A man running away, sparks flying around him, and of course why not throw in some world building by seeing what's going on with the world through blood puddles and gore. Then as the music slows down a bit again, we are introduced to a new MC, a happy person, making us ask the question how did he turn into the one at the beginning. And remember what I said, this trailer tells a story and this following segment is amazingly cut in my opinion. We go from the new to the job happy and even more so meeting his work crush, to the classical I hate my life anime eyes which is then cut to a scene explaining why. And this is where we can see how much love has been put into this show because if you go frame by frame you can see the transition between hate my life and why is by the fights of the girl he liked working there. And continuing on on from that masterpiece of a transition, we reach the climax of the trailer, with him being chased by zombies shouting from the top of his lungs that he is free as the title card plays. Well, what can I say, they've told an amazing story, and if you want me to continue telling amazing stories to you, and maybe one day myself scream that I'm free from my job, consider clicking this video or use any of the means below to financially support me. With that said, bye!